Hi everyone, it's Carrie, aka Nerdy Girl Creates, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just finished watching What If Episode 7. So before I proceed, I have to give the usual warning. If you have not watched the episode and you do not want it spoiled, please turn this video off, go watch it, and then come back. Alright, you've been warned. So this episode is all about Thor. And it's in a scenario where if Odin never adopted Loki and Thor became like a party animal. And I'm not joking when I say this. They have him like... Somebody referred to it as Van Wilder in another video. And I, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why I torture myself with this show. I've liked only one episode and we're on seven. I mean, they have him like a complete utter doofus. And I... I like a frat boy. I mean, literally like a frat boy. And I'm sorry, is it just me? But the humor in this show is not cutting it. It is really not funny. Um, I think it's one of the few episodes that had everybody's voices in it. All the original actors. But it's just... It's it's not funny. <laughs> I They're trying so hard, but they've made like Thor like this really dumb blonde male version and it's kind of like I preferred the naive I don't know anything about modern earth Thor that we got in the movies than this uh complete dimwit who does want to do nothing but party on every continent across the planet you have uh Jane Foster in this and both of them once again are attracted to each other and she's uh drawn into this because she picked up on his signal coming to earth shield is involved because they think he's a threat because he's throwing parties everywhere and they've heard stories about him destroying a planet which was highly exaggerated from what i understand loki is the prince of jotunheim but him and thor are buddies which confuses me and thor managed to invite everybody in the galaxy like i mean everybody we've got howard the duck there who um conveniently marries Darcy. You have the Skulls, you have the Guardians of the Galaxy, or at least some of them. Uh, you have Nebula. You have Jeff Goldblum's character from Ragnarok and his sidekick. Uh, yeah. You've got the Warriors 3, who I miss since they've been killed off. You have Lady Sif. And it's kind of like they, they portrayed Thor as like this kid. His mom it goes to leave after Odin goes into his sleep and tells him that he needs to study and behave and Hem Heimdall will be babysitting him. <sighs> yeah. No. That's... I'm not lying. A grown-ass god is being babysat by another god because his mother doesn't trust him to be mature enough to run the kingdom while his father sleeps. Um... <laughs> Make things worse. Maria Hill is acting director because um, during all these parties, Fury got hurt. Please don't even let me go into how that happened. So she decides she needs to call in backup. Guess who she calls? Everybody's favorite Marvel character. <laughs> so here comes Captain Marvel, right? To educate Thor about his behavior and goes on this whole thing and he's just being a doofus while they get into a fight and he knocks her around she knocks him around <clears throat> their their fight takes him around the entire globe one point they're at Stonehenge and he's treating the Stonehenge like dominoes she's uh getting fed up with him he's calling her a party pooper and other stupid names well, Jane finally realizes that if Thor and Loki exist, that means his parents exist. So, <laughs> she literally gets Darcy to use their van to send a signal to Heimdall to beam her up to, mid uh, to Asgard. And she goes and tattles to his mother that Thor is in trouble on Earth. Because S.H.I.E.L.D., she finds out, is going to drop a nuke on him in the middle of some desert. So, Mommy projects herself down and starts to, like, 
tell Thor that he's being bad and if and he lies to her says they went on a educational trip like a like some 13 year old in middle school or something I am on an educational trip with my friends mom and she goes well I'm going to be there soon and I better not see any signs of you da 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 meanwhile Captain Marvel's laughing at him oh god did I miss anything at this point I was just glad it was over yeah, so Thor's trying to convince everybody from the Guardians to his bro- to to Loki, who's not technically his brother in this, but his buddy, and everybody else to help him clean everything up before his mother shows up because he doesn't want to get in trouble. I am not kidding you. This is exactly how the episode is going. He is like that kid who was left alone at home and snuck away from the babysitter and is causing chaos everywhere. So in Ferris Bueller style. As the mother is quickly approaching Earth, he is racing around the globe to clean up his messes. And he's got everybody helping him from cleaning up the ice all over Mount Rushmore to um, them fixing the Statue of Liberty to him scraping off graffiti saying Thor rules and stupid stuff like that. I am not kidding you. (laughs) I'm really not kidding you. This is what this whole episode was. This is not a what if. This is this is just trying to be like humorous. We're trying to be family guy or something and it's not working. No. No, no, no. Right? So it finally ends where he uh, he uh tricks his mother into believing he actually was there cuz they're all sitting around a chalkboard while he's giving educational lessons about Midgard. And uh even Captain Marvel feels bad enough to help him out by showing up and giving him uh, information about the educational information about the planet on an iPad and he only gets outed because when he goes to get Molinier back it is covered in all this crap like his underwear and <sighs> later he goes and he apologizes to Jane but thanks her for telling on him to his mom I'm trying to keep us I'm trying to get through this so <laughs> he Asks her on a date, and everything's great, and the watcher goes, and they lived happily ever after. I said, okay, we're now trying to make this, like, why is he acting like the prince from Shrek? (laughs) He's acting like the prince from Shrek. I'm not joking. Except he's not evil. Well, so as he walks away, and the watcher's giving this, oh, happy ending Disney princess fairy tale style crap. Ultrons show up, multiple Ultrons, and then one main Ultron who happens to have all the Affinity Stones. And now I could be wrong, and please correct me down in the comments section if you've watched this episode, but it almost kind of looked like that this Ultron was a human and could have been Galactus. I could be wrong, but I guess this is how it's going to cross over with all the other characters that we've seen so far. Because I've seen footage where they're having one big battle with Ultrons. So as if you haven't figured out by now, I am like totally over this show. And I did not enjoy this episode. It was just stupid beyond belief. And Disney's need to keep trying to prop up Captain Marvel and make people like her. It's only making people not. It's like, once again... She has to be there to stop the foolish boy who's uh, acting immature and wrecking havoc across the planet with his parties. I mean, this is... And here's my thing is, this is what you call Captain Marvel in for? But when Thanos showed up, you didn't even try to ring her? You didn't ring her until you got snapped? (laughs) And they're going on about, well, the Fury said you're like the most powerful ever. Like, you shoot nukes from your hands and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I did not enjoy this episode. (laughs) I, I really kind of feel like the MCU has gone way off the rails and we're we're, we're now just like, the train is just like f- tumbling downhill, just waiting to finally crash at the bottom. I, I don't even have any hope for anything that's coming out. I don't have the hope for the rest of the season. You only got me with one episode and I allowed myself to have false hope and that's on me. We're just going to end it here. <laughs> So go ahead, tell me what you think down in the comment section below. Did you watch What If Episode 7? Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Let me know, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification button so you can get reminded when I have new videos up. I will see you on the next video. Bye.